Idly ho there, people or Roonies. Wow, that was a terrible intro. I'm sorry. I don't ever know how to start these videos. But yes, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. It has been a while. It's been like six months since I've actually recorded anything from this Let's Play. Yeah, I, I really need to start this back up. But, you know, summer so I can do this. If you guys remember, last time we fought Evil Jessica, but she, um, you know, she snapped out of it afterwards. And it was saying that, you know, the scepter um, was holding the real bad guy, Rapthorn, Lord of Darkness. But, huh. You know, I wonder what she could mean by that. But, well, yeah, we can't actually... I think if we just go talk to Jessica, she's just going to be like, Oh, well, you know, Rapthorn's there. So, we're not going to talk to her yet. Don't worry, she will join back with us in this video. Don't even worry about it at all. So you actually want to go back and talk to Master Domenico, even though, you know, from like the last video, we still hate the bastard because he's, you know, an asshole. And you'll actually find him sitting calmly. I think this is the room. I don't remember. Yeah, sitting calmly here, eating, um, nothing on a fancy green uh, tablecloth. Oh, it's you. I've not been feeling well ever since seeing that little witch off, you know. It's not a physical matter. I've just got an uneasiness I can't seem to shake. It's hard to put it into words, but I'm gripped. I'm gripped by the feeling that I've made a most almighty blunder. But the great Domenico does not suffer from indecision and regret. I'm no mood to talk now. Leave me. Come back and see me later if you need something. Um, okay. Um, I thought this is what we did. Oh, okay. I guess what we do. Come quickly! I it's David! David? Oh no, what did he do this time? It's Leopold. He's got David with the scepter! What does he mean by we won't interfere anymore? Why is what do you mean only two left? David, are you okay? David Please go after Sir Leopold. He he's he's the only one who makes Master Dominico happy without Sir Leopold. Master Dominico would... would be so unhappy. Master... What, what's happened? David? Esteemed heir to the great sage Cooper's? Why has it taken me so long to realize? I, I couldn't protect you. All the magic that has been in my family for generations. My ancestors brought me and Cooper's heir together for a reason, but I... No. Just thinking about it is too painful. It's unbearable. I must apologize if I worried you. It hit me the moment I saw poor David's body. Now everything is clear. It appears I was put on this world as part of a grander design to fulfill my family's destiny. That is, protecting the heir of one of the great sages. Protecting David, this has always been my duty. 
But somewhere along the way, my ancestors let the power go to their heads. We lost sight of our true purpose. If only I'd realized all this sooner, I could have prevented this tragedy. I ordered my servants to bury David as the heir to a great sage should be buried. But nothing can put right the wrong I have done. I am not fit to show my face in public. Will you do me one last favor? I know it was my Leopold who ended David's life. It pains me to have to ask you, but will you destroy him for me? Will you avenge the spilt blood of the sages? That creature isn't my Leopold anymore. He's being controlled by some evil magic. I know this won't make amends for my unforgivable ignorance, but it's all I can do now. And I owe you something, too, for all the trouble I have caused you. Oh, yes. I see that the girl has yet to unlock her true potential as a magician, allow me to awaken the dormant powers within you. People say they saw Leopold heading north out of town. That's where you should start looking. I'm sorry to have to ask this of you. I wish... Alright, uh, sorry about that. My housemate walked in and forgot I was recording back here. So yes, uh, we now have Jessica back, and it's been, you know, been a while since we've had her. Uh, just so you know, um, make sure you equip her back. She does not have anything at all. And before we even uh, put on any real equipment for her, I want to show you the bunny suit that she can get. You have to have um, the bunny ears, the, uh, oh, what was that item? Fishnet stockings, which you get by... Um, uh, getting, I think it's 29 or 31 mini medals, and uh, you get this um, get this bunny suit for beating the rank F monster arena, which I've shown in my uh, the spa the specials. So this is what she looks like in her full bunny suit outfit. Uh, yeah, uh, if it was actually you know good right now, I'd keep her in it, not just for the. You know, it's a pretty good piece of equipment for when you get it, but, I mean, I have so much better stuff for her now, so. Just re-equip Jessica there. Uh, I think she had just all this stuff back here. I'll put her back in the third spot. Uh, this is so exciting, you guys, watching me re-equip Jessica. It's just, I don't know how you guys manage to... I don't know, I don't know how you guys are standing the, the excitement... Oh good, this is the last bit of her equipment. Now, and you also have noticed, um, y'all, I hate when I say y'all, the I, I want to weed that out of my vocabulary. But yes, as you see, we got Kassizzle, um, which is a very, uh, it's a very good spell if you're just stacking a group of things. We also got Cr Crackle, which is, I believe, the strongest ice spell in the game, and it attacks all the enemies, so it's, I don't think I have... Boom, yeah, it's stronger than Boom, uh, and but we don't have this, you know, Kaboom, spoilers, that's what it's called. Uh, so we'll be using a Crackle a bit for Jessica, because that's, that's a really good spell for her. Yeah, so, um, yeah, David's dead. 
We only got two more sages left. And who are the other two sages? I don't know. We'll have to find that out ourselves. Why am I going through the inventory so much? Yeah, let's... Oh, my neighbor. Sorry, this, my neighbor has a kid, and I'm pretty sure he's, like, like physically crazy. Like, I think he's going to be a sociopath when he grows up. And he's just stomping back and forth in the apartment. Or not the apartment, the duplex. Wait a minute, Gov. Uh, it's nothing much, but ever since we defeated Dolmagus and I picked up the scepter, I haven't been able to speak my own mind, so I just wanted to say this now. I don't feel like I've avenged my brother's death at all. I don't know who or what this Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, is, but we can't afford to relax while the scepter is still missing. I don't intend to stop searching until we found that scepter and sealed Rapthorn away again. So, uh, I guess we'll be spending a lot more time together? Sorry, did that come out a bit strange? Really? Thanks. You're sweet, you know that? Aw, oh, thanks for being like that, Jessica, but you're already betrothed to that guy in Argonia, and um, yeah, we got someone else... Uh, the main character's got someone else, so... But thanks anyway, though. So yes, um, if... I don't know why they added that scene. You, you, People, honestly, why do I keep going in my menu so much? I don't know. It's probably because I haven't recorded anything in months, really. Um, but yeah, uh... But, um... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. I don't know why Jessica's like that, because, you know, as soon as you get her back, she's going to stay in your party for the rest of the game. We don't lose anyone else uh, for the rest of the, rem uh, the remainder of the game. So if you guys want to grind up to just be, you know, beast, you can, because no one leaves anymore, no one gets replaced, no, nothing like that happens, you're stuck with, well, I don't want to say stuck, that's like condoning bad things, you're stuck with these people, um, and there I go saying it anyway, uh, you're going to use those people for the rest of the game, uh, just take a drink of water real quick, and backpedal and talk about uh, what it was before the cutscene, so um, just a quick thing, we're going north, uh, north of Arcadia, and we'll, going north, that's where we need to go. Um, yeah, so, like I said, the kid is stomping back and forth um, on that side of the duplex, because I live in a house that's like just cut right down the middle. And um, he just keeps running back and forth. And, like, he doesn't listen to anyone uh, when they say, like, you know, hey, don't do this. Um, I'm pretty sure I've heard him say, fuck you, mother. So, uh, he doesn't listen to anyone, and I can't tell the landlord, because, like, technically, I don't live here. Like, I mean, I do, because I pay rent and everything, but I'm, like, not on the lease, because it's on a couple of other friends' name. It's under their name, but I live here, but they don't live here, so I just pay the rent, and it's complicated, but it makes sense to me. Uh, so I can't tell the landlord about this, and the lady, um, does not care, and the kid doesn't listen, so... And I mean, and it's not like it's, you know, a tiny bit of annoyance. It's like the kid is running from about, you know, 9 in the morning till... I passed it at 3 o'clock yesterday, at 3 a.m. yesterday, and he was still stomping back and forth, so... I don't know. Um, I do know that my me and my housemate are going to call DHS uh, before we move out. Because I'm pretty sure she's just kind of abandoning him. But... Yeah, that's... It's not really important with this Let's Play. It was just me rambling and I don't. Oh no, battle! Wow. Um, did I fight these guys? I don't remember. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, these are. I think I've. T I remember I've talked about the York Kings. I remember talking about that in the going into the tower. But I don't know if I talked about Robo Robins. Um, these guys are coming. Kind of the Robo Robins are basically like the metal. Um, Metal birds we fought before, uh, they don't really do much. Why am I missing, like... Why am I missing two from two, M uh, two MP from Angelo? And I, I know why I'm missing four from the hero, but... Sorry, just random, noticing things. Um, Robo Robins, are, they're powerful. I believe they can sacrifice themselves if given the... Did I use Miracle Slash? I don't need to do that. I'm an idiot. Um, I believe they can... Uh, Um, why am I blanking on it? Oh, they can explode. 
and, you know, uh, explode, killing themselves and causing damage to us. Don't you cast Zing on that guy. Ah. Oh, but yeah, like you saw, Jessica, that was, um, that was Cook Crackle. It's a very, very good spell to have. Not to have, you know what I mean? She's going to have it anyway. Oh, I'm giving great commentary, guys. And you need to do. Um, yes, um, oh, why, why am I, I haven't gotten the swing back at this Let's Playing, that's why. Um, yeah, so it, it damages everyone really well. Um, I won't be using it really for the bosses, because, like, it's a powerful spell, but, um, I hate but, but, um, uh, coming up soon, we're going to be, uh, fighting new bosses and getting better equipment for Jessica, so, um, we won't really need to be depending on that spell for bosses, uh, we'll be using different items that do more damage and everything. So, Saber Cat away! Oh man, it's been it's been way too long since I, I forgot there was a little church here. What is this? Chapel of Autumn. Hmm. I don't remember being at this place. Hello, cow. So, I think I might be able to heal up in this place, but I don't really need to, because... Um, we didn't take much of a beating. Now, this is a church? Okay. So if you go through the cave northwest of you, you'll find yourself in a place where the snow is far as the eye can see. I'd love to see this open myself, but I'm useless in the cold. Just think about it makes my teeth ch ch chatter. I'm waiting around here in this church in the hope that I might eventually pluck up the courage to go and have a look. Really? You, you kind of look like you're dressed pretty warmly. I mean, I guess apart from the tights, but I mean, you got, you got a hat, you got a cape. You look like a red mage, by the way. I don't know, I mean, I know he's supposed to be like a bard, but he looks like a red mage, kind of. Just needs a red or white shirt, and then that's it. Um, uh, do I need to save? I, I don't even need to heal up. Um, no, I'll heal up at the end, just because I think you need to have to. Here, warm your bones first. Okay. I think you need to save at an end to, um, to like, have that set as a marker. Oh, hello. Welcome to Dreamland, Sleepyhead. I'm so grateful for these chances to talk to you. And I'm so happy Jessica's back with us, even if Father and I are still cursed. Sometimes I wonder if we'll have to spend the rest of our lives like this. I'm sorry. It's just that I get so sad every time I think of Trodane covered in thorns. You know what's strange, though? That you weren't affected by the curse. But I shouldn't be surprised. I always knew there was something special about you. Don't forget to take me to the spring every now and then. I missed... Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to cut through that. Sorry. Yeah, um, so yet again she brings up the fact of why we weren't cursed. Um... Oh, I trust you had a restful sleep. I'm gonna go on a bit of a tangent right now. Um... I have found a Let's Player. Actually, I shouldn't use that term, Let's Playing, because he's really terrible. And, um... I'm pretty sure he started this game either because I started it, and I feel like he secretly watches me, and he kind of wanted to get views like that, or he's playing as many games as he wants to just to get views. Um... And I, uh, I'll admit, I, fa I found his Dragon Quest VIII Let's Play, and I started watching it. Because I was, I was also thinking, I was just like, you know, I'll give him a fair chance. Until... Until I found out he has no idea how to play the game. He doesn't know how to read the equipment. He uh, doesn't know how to edit a game like Dragon Quest VIII. Um, and this is going to sound actually really elitist and uh, superior, but I don't care. He's not worthy enough to play a game like Dragon Quest VIII. <laughs> this game's too <laughs> this game's too epic and majestic for him to just destroy. He he has not done this game justice. He only has a few episodes up of it, but he fails every time. And the part that really got me was um, that was just a troll, by the way. Um, the fact uh, what what really made me just lose all respect for him was he got um 
uh, what causes the, the main character to deflect curses wrong. And it's it's very um, it, it's very important and big. Um, it's basically part of the extra extra content story of why your um, why you deflect curses. And he was like, oh, it's some uh, trinket or amulet or something he carries. And it's like, no, no, it's not. And um, yeah, it's just that that guy's been infuriating me every time he posts a video of Dragon Quest Eight, And I was just like, no, I'm not. Uh, so um, yeah, after that, it's all of a sudden. OK, let's go. Uh, let's not just stand here and look at Balmrim, the saber cat. He looks really shiny, like his mane looks very glossy. I don't know. Uh, let's go to this cave right here, because, you know, it's not the fact that this whole episode I've just been ranting about whatever. Oh, well. Let's go into this cave and progress in this game, because, you know... Oh, we can't take this saber cat with us. Uh, oh, I can't use the map here. I forget these things. I really like when they do things like this in ice. I don't know why I like them, but I do. Like it's like it's just like a really nice touch. Although I don't know how uh, it was able to freeze up like that, but you know what? Fuck logic. I don't care. It looks pretty. We'll just keep going through this ice cavern. No, oh, I hate that PS3 sound, PS2 sound, but I'll, I'll explain it later. It's almost too cold to bear. But if we don't retrieve the scepter, Medea and I may never return to normal. We'll just have to grin and bear it. Let's keep pushing on. At least moving might help us to warm up a little. Oh yeah, like I was saying, um... Yes, my PS2, uh, my old one died. Uh, it died after like 11 years, and I had to get a new one recently, and it's a little slim one, and the slim ones are loud. So, yeah, just putting that out there. Let's keep going. Huh, this is odd. You know, we're on the world map, why isn't the... You know, the world theme playing? Hmm. I think it's very suspicious. Let's just keep on moving on this path. You know, maybe we'll run into where we're supposed to go. I shouldn't have to put up with being in a freezing place like this. It's all D -D 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 Magus's fault. Well, but he's D -D dead now. So I, I suppose it's that Leo What's his name's fault. I don't know. A D -D -D dog of all things. Oh, oh stop your whinging, Granddad. It ain't as if we've got a sweat on you, no. Just get on with it. I beg your pardon? How uncalled for! I don't see why I shouldn't be able to say whatever I please. You've no right to talk to me like that. No right at all. I'm absolutely livid. Livid, I tell you. I'm going on ahead.
was odd. We could have died just then, but why didn't we? And who was that dog? And who would own a dog out here in the middle of the, uh, out of the snow? You know, it's not like we're in Skyrim and we're up by uh, Winterhold or whatever. I've been playing Skyrim way too much today. I played like eight hours, and I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not estimating. I played about that long. So, um, you know, I think I'm pretty sure upstairs is where we need to go. But first, I want to loot down here. Because, you know, I just, where's my sword? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was just like, where's my sword? I had it equipped. And I do, it just, I guess, didn't want to show up on the thingy. Ooh, mini metal. Gonna have to give it to mini, mini after this episode. Because I don't really see a point in going, you know, showing... Uh, showing me giving her the medals. During an episode, I just don't. Ooh, special medicine. What does special medicine do? Oh, that's not that special. It's just... I have healing spells that are more powerful than that. Oh, look, and here's everyone. Let's... Hello? Oh, look, a little lady. Let's talk to her first. Oh, you're awake. Hmm, you have a nice color in your cheeks. It is a good sign. Welcome to my home. I am Marta. I live out here in the mountains where I grow herbs. This will be ready for you soon. Drinking it should warm you up nicely. Okay. Uh, let's talk to everyone first. How are you feeling, Gov? You alright? I was worried about you, like. You was the only one who wouldn't wake up. This place belongs to that granny over there. Lives here, you know. We're not far from where that avalanche happened. She says we could stay here till the snow clears up a bit. Okay. I'll talk to the dog. <laughs> Did he just shake his head at me? No, I'm not going to talk to you. You got caught up in the avalanche. My heart sank when I found out there was just an old lady living here. But as luck would have it, that dog over there is a dab hand. It's a dab hand. It's okay. Shut up. Don't care, Trode. Don't care. Jessica, how are you? You look like you'd be freezing in this kind of weather. This tea's made something called nutgrass. It warms you up and makes you more resistant to the cold weather. It's a bit strong at first, but I could get to like it. Why don't you ask the old lady for some too? Okay. That dog over there is called Boris. He's the one who dug us out from the snow. What a dog. He's a lot more used than a certain king, don't you think? And he smells a bit better too. How dare you, boy! How could you say such a thing about your own master? Honestly, who do you think called for the dog's help in the first place? Gosh, don't be a little bitch, Trode. Please sit by the fire and warm your bones. I will work you up some of my new grass tea. I'm hearing noises outside my house. I don't know what they are. Please, drink. This nook grass tea will keep you warm even in the bitter cold of this snowy land. How terribly kind of you. First you save us from the avalanche, then you put us up for the night, and now you warm our innards. Now that's what I call hospitality. And what's really amazing is that you helped a weird old monster like him in the first place. You loathsome lowlife! You of all people have no right to call me weird! It is true that his appearance is a little unusual. But when you get to my age, you learn not to judge a horse by its harness. And of course, I would help anyone who was in trouble so far from civilization. I hope you don't mind me asking, but why do you live all the way out here on your own? Of course I do not mind, dear. There is an old ruin behind my house. My ancestors have looked after it generation after generation. It is a family duty. Why is Tro just still looking at us pissed? I, I, it, why? Why, Tro? Just sit down. But that will all end with me. I have no one to follow in my footsteps when my life is finished. Really? 
It must be pretty tough living on your own like this. Duty or no duty. It is comfortable enough. I have lived here since I was a child, so it is not a hardship. Besides, to live life is not to walk through a meadow. And from time to time, people get lost here in the mountains, like you, so I am not lonely. And I always have Boris to keep me company. Ah, on the subject of dogs, we had something to ask you, Marta. This will sound a bit strange, but we're pursuing a big black dog, and we heard that he might have been headed in this direction. There's a good chance he may have come this way. Have you seen anything? Um, no. I am sorry. The only dog I know about is big old Boris over there. Sorry I cannot be of more help. You should ask where there is a lot of people. If you go down the mountain and go to the north, you will come to a town called Orkutsk. Maybe someone will know something there. Ah, that sounds like an excellent idea. Right then, chaps, there's no time to lose. Oh, yo, yo. If you are hasty, others will only be amused. That is an old saying here. One should not be so eager to go back out into the blizzard. The night is coming. Why don't you rest here? I am sure the blizzard will be gone by morning, so you can leave for Orkutsk then. Yes, yes. Wise words, my good woman. Very well, we shall rest here for the night. Go north from the bottom of the mountain, and you will come to Orkutsk. Please be careful on your journey. <gasps> By George! Princess! Are you all right? Were you cold in the night? Forgive me, but I must ask you a favor. If you meet with a man called Marek in Orkutsk, Please, give this to him. He is probably working with herbs, like I am. I would be grateful if you could give him that bag. Spashibo. Thank you. Right then! Off to Okutsk! Totally bye! There's that world theme music that I love so much. Now, um, why does Trode always have to make up more ridiculous ways to say bye in, uh, in these cutscenes? I don't know. But. We'll do like this Marta woman said, and we will head north to Orkutsk. Now, you might have been able to tell from her accent, but we're kind of in... I don't want to say like, well, maybe Russian-ish sounding accent land, so... Eh, you know. It's, I guess that's where we are, kind of. I mean, you know, Russia's, you know, the north, and it's not... You know, in relative to this, but it's, you know, in the north part of the world. I guess it would be cold in places like this. Am I going the right way to Orkutsk? Yes, I am. Good. And for some reason, I can't say the name of the town Orkutsk without sounding like I have an accent, which is... Alright, I guess. Alrighty, now, Ice Queens. Um, you'll have to forgive me, I don't know the enemies in this part very well. Compared to, uh, other places. But I'm going to assume that these are like the sirens and the witches we fought in before, just, you know, a bit more powerful, so 
Uh, they should probably know. Oh yeah, they psych up. I think they can psych up to 50 and do like a weird power attack. I forgot they... Oh yeah, they double turn. I hate that. I hate whenever enemies double turn. We'll use Kassizzle. And I love how the camera pans around whenever you cast that spell. I really... I like that. I like that effect. Okay, so it looks like they have about 150, 200 HP. Maybe... After this battle, we should be able to go to Orkutsk. That's just like a Russian-ish sounding name. Orkutsk. Oh well. Yeah, and after, after this episode, I'm also going to grind, because I need to get uh, better equipment. Not that, I'm, like, not that I have, like, bad equipment now. But, oh. Cutscene, I don't remember you being there. It seems we've arrived in Orkutsk at last. And that nook grass really is quite marvelous. I wasn't a bit cold, even in all that snow. Now, we can stay outdoors as long as we like. Excellent. Well, I'll be waiting outside the town as usual. In you go. I just want to say, I really like this ice uh, glacier thingy. I, <laughs> but like I said, I love how this game looks. It has a good looking game. Uh, it's a very good looking game. Oh, what was I talking about before? I, um, oh yeah, um, after this video ends, I'm not going to go too much longer because I've been going on uh, about 35 minutes or so. Um, because I need to get people better equipment. Not like, like I said, not like it's, not like we have bad equipment. I would just very much like to uh, get Jessica some more stuff, and uh, I think there's some magic stuff in here, like magic armor and stuff we can buy for people, maybe? I'm not sure. Let me look around real quick. Um, but yes, this is Orkutsk. It's a... Um, I like how this town is designed. It's very hexagonal. Yeah, hexagon is six sides. Yeah, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but I like how... Every Pff, hello, person. Ugh, room for plenty more. Ugh, I'm not done yet. Okay. Um, I like how just this. Oh my! Um, hello, prayer person. Person. Oh dear sister, you look so beautiful when you pray. Too beautiful, dear goddess. What should a poor soul such as I do? Now I have fallen for one of your flock. Confess. Even when you are racked with self-doubt, have faith in her divine benevolence. The goddess looks kindly upon those who take action. W was that an angel? Oh, I understand. I will do exactly as you say. Angel? Angelo? They're one and the same. No, not really. That's not at all. Angelo's just being a complete dick. Which, you know, it's his character. Oh, come on, game. Thank you. Just, I, I don't like it whenever you take long to load. Because it just makes you feel like, you know, this game is, you know, uh, this... Is there just this one guy? I guess so. Okay. Oh, wow. We got, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. And this is expensive be worth it, though. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to need to grind and get... Maybe not all of that. That's a bit too much to grind for. But, um... But, um... Bah. Okay. This has gone on long enough. I'm starting to just... Blah, 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 and not do anything. The man praying over there keeps staring at me with a really intense look in his face. Oh dear goddess, have I done something to cause him ill to... No, he doesn't... He he has the hearts for you. That's all. Okay, um... So, uh, I'm gonna end it here. End this video here, because like I said, I've been going on long enough, and I'm starting to ramble and do random stuff in my videos. Pickles. Um, 
Okay, so thank you guys for watching Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII Part. I don't know. I didn't even look up the number before I started playing. So, yeah, going to grind up, get some of that stuff, and uh, see you all next time. Bye-bye.